The All Progressive Congress has been making concerted efforts at achieving a united front in order to maximize the opportunities that will be presented by its elected national convention scheduled for the for February the 26th. But the task appears to be getting more difficult thanks to the emergence of a number of stakeholders in the party who have signaled interest in its presidential ticket. This heady mix of ambitious individuals with their various power bases and intimidating war chests appear to be pulling the party in different directions. And the big money on the back remains in place, namely the continued pilotage of the party as chairman of the caretaker committee by a sitting governor, something that runs contrary to its own, to its very own constitution. And then last week's declaration of intent to run for president by the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is the latest in a series of events that may ultimately determine how the party fares in next year's general election. Well, joining us now to take a closer look at this matter is Joe Ibokwe, who is a former publicity secretary of the All Progressive Congress in Lagos and currently special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on water resources and drainage. Welcome to the morning show, sir. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Mm. It's a pleasure. Well, if we jump straight into it, it does look as though as we edge closer and closer to this uh, primary next month, there does seem to be some disorder within the house of the APC. I mean, give, give us an insight as to what is happening there. It does look as though uh, Booney's placement ship as the chairman of the caretaker committee, is that going to change anytime soon? Or is that going to, is that likely going to be the position he'll take until the very end? Well, um, what I want you to understand this morning is that some of these things you see is part of democratic process. Um, when elections are getting close, you know, these are the things that you will see. And <coughs> for outsiders, it may not be normal, but for us that have been in the system for too long, like you said, as the publicity secretary for our party for nearly 15 years, these are the things, these are common things we see. But when we get to the bridge, we will cross it. You get it? <laughs> Do I? Do I get it, Joe? You get it. Okay, if she doesn't get it, uh, are you asking her to forget about it? <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Go it on. is part of the yeah. process. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, I, 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 I know the part of, it's part of the process. All these cacophony of voices all over the place. These are, these are the things that make a political party what it is. Mm. But at the end of the day, we will achieve what we want to achieve. So you allow people to vent, ventilate the ideas and all that, but at the end of the day, by the time we get close to February 26, things should have been sorted out. All right, Honorable Joe. That's I know, politics. I, that's, that's politics. Uh, I know, of course, that um, uh, if 26 February holds, uh, as your members, the members of the party, uh, hope, uh, yes, something will happen. Hopefully a new chairman will emerge. Uh, but I know that um, without, uh, there's no point in saying uh, the thing, you are an Ashwaju uh, loyalist uh, and is one of the front runners uh, who perhaps the very first uh, to uh, openly and publicly express his interest uh, to be uh, President Buhari's successor. And uh, now I'd like to ask you, uh, you are an Igbo man. Uh, Ashwaji Bolatinubu is Yoruba. Yeah. Um, one, this is something that you have been dealing with for a, a while. Uh, the mood of the nation and the mood in the party uh, may be that power should come to the South after eight years with President Buhari. But then uh, the South is not just Southwest. And therefore, people are not looking at just Ashwaji Tinubu or the, and the vice president, or Shibaju, or even Fayemi, or any other person uh, that might be interested. Uh, people are also thinking that Southeast especially, given the fact that uh, South-South, through uh, former President Jonathan, uh, has had about five and a half years or thereabout uh, of the presidency. And so it might come to you as one of the leading cheerleaders of Ashwaju uh, Tinubu's candidacy to say that why would an Igbo man in Lagos be supporting a Yoruba man at a time that this might look like the only opportunity 
in the long while for an Igbo man to emerge as president, given the fact that at least two or three people have already signified their intention to run uh, from the Southeast. How will you deal with this recurring uh, decimal, given that you are an Igbo man, but then you are unrepentantly a Tinubu supporter? You know, very important question, you know, we have come a long way. Mm -hmm. And um, it is open, like you said, it's open for anybody to pick the tickets. Um, um, you know, <laughs> I'm an Achuwaju person. And we cannot, we, I'm not going to look left, I'm not going to look right to take my decision. I have been with him since the early, uh, 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 you know, since the days of June 12th, you know, and all that. So, uh, yes, I agree that it's open. South is, South, South is there, you know. Uh, it's done to the South, APC. Bring your, bring it on. Bring, I only have one vote. I only have one vote. And that one vote, I'm going to give it to the of Africa, my leader. Then if he becomes the other candidate. Other people from Southwest can also vote for his yes, yes, if he becomes the candidate. Other people can vote. People from the north from the from Southwest can pick their candidates. This is democracy. This is democracy. If you if you prepare yourself, like Achuaju has prepared himself over over years, he has been grooming leaders, pushing up leaders, and his time has come. And if I tell you that I will not give my vote to him or that I'm going to give any other person my vote, I'll be deceiving myself and the truth is not in me. It is known, people know where I stand. But that is not to say that I, I do not know where I'm coming from. I come from Southeast. But when we want to vote, we are not looking at where, we are looking at who is going to perform. Who is going to perform. And even if it's zoned to Southeast, if it's zoned to our South East and pick a candidate from the Southeast, then dynamics can change. But if I charge you, he's still in the race and he wins, I'm going to vote for him. But if we decide that it's going to come from South East, our house since 1970, nobody from South East has been president of Nigeria. That in itself is, is an issue. Then we can change. Dynamics, when dynamics change, all of us will just key in. You know? So that is it. But for now, for now, I know that someone. Well, some of the Governor Mahe from, Anna, uh, from Ibon State is coming out. Others may still come out. But let's see how it is. Whoever gets the ticket, if my leader actually wants to get the ticket, I will support him. If somebody from South East gets the ticket, ticket which means actually will not be there, then I will support that person. I am APC 120% beyond mathematics. So that is the way it is. Right. And you know, you have just said that it's the right person for the job. But would you say in all honesty that Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu is physically fit for this job? Would you say that? This, this kind of question will always come. Yes. You know, when you get to US, the, 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 the number one, uh, you know, uh, uh, democratic nation, you know, and you see Trump, you know his age, you've seen Joe Biden, you know his age, it has nothing to do with it. It's just a number. It's just a number. So I think he has the capacity. He has is coming to to the table with a lot, lots and lots of experience, you know. And you cannot ignore that. What we want, what we should do, is to pray for him. To I don't think he's older than Biden. I don't think he's older than um, um, the former president of Trump. Steve, okay, so, are you saying that you don't know how old? Up, but we'll are you saying you don't know we'll how old? It. You're you're staunchly loyal to Tinubu and you your family behind him. Are you saying you don't know how old he is? I can't hear you. You said his age. How old is uh, is the party chairman? How uh, the the leader of the APC? How old is Tinubu? I, I I can't imagine that you don't know since you are s in such support of him. You'd have to know everything is about it, him. Is, about he not, his is he not sixty nine? Is he is sixty? He is sixty nine. Okay. Sixty nine. That's his age. All righty. Okay. Thank that's you. his age. Okay. And it's, even if he's 70, he's 70, qualified. 70 even if he's 75, March. he's qualified. Even if he's 80, he's qualified. Yeah. So long as he's physically fit and he has the mental alertness to do the work. Mental. So, mm. All right. really. 
Okay. You, well, yes. you also <laughs> said that if <laughs> the um, if the if can, uh, Tinubu does not get the um, ticket, um, you would go for another person. You know, several groups, including uh, the National Coalition of Women for Osibaja, which is a group that have been campaigning for the leaders of the All Progressives Congress to adopt Vice President Osibaja as their consensus presidential candidate. You said that you're an Osibaja person. What do you make of um, Osibaja? It's the party that will decide. Whoever emerges, when we go to national convention, whoever emerges, we support that person. Mm. Whoever emerges, because only one candidate will be, will be, will be fielded by APC. It can be, it can be Achiwajo, it can be Oshibajo, it can be Omahio, it can be others. But as I speak to you now, my, vo my voter's card is in my pocket, and I'm going to use it to vote for Achiwajo if he wins the primaries. If I, as a lawyer party man, if our party decides to choose another person, it's, it's democracy. We key in. Immediately you key in. It's APC, left or right, front or back. It's APC. So whoever emerges, we will support that. But I pray that my leader will emerge. But if he does not emerge, then whoever emerges, we stand behind that person. That's party loyalty. Okay, okay. There's no two way about it. Okay, what, what do you think we should expect and members of the party and the public at large should expect uh, from the convention, the proposed convention for February 26th and 27th, if uh, uh, it holds? Uh, we know that uh, a candidate of the party will not emerge, hopefully until uh, about August, uh, when the primaries will hold. Uh, but the convention is essentially to... Um, select uh, the the ESCO, so, the, uh, you know, executives of the party. Executives of the, party. executives of the party, yes, to elect them exactly. And but, they will now go and sit to begin to work for yes. the for the primaries proper. Absolutely, but given the division, so. you know, and the and the schemings around, uh, you know, the politics that took uh, the former chairman uh, Adam Sushomale out of office. Uh, you know, the politics that has kept Governor Buni. Uh, in charge uh, for more than one year when, it, when the caretaker committee was meant to spend barely uh, three months. Are, are we witnessing um, a gradual, you know, um, uh, if you like, uh, uh, schism um, among the parties that came together to form APC? Uh, Ashwaju ACN, which you belong to, uh, President Buhari CPC, uh, the, the, the new PDP that produced, you know, the likes of um, uh, 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 Rotimi Amechi, Minister for Transportation. Is, is that what we are witnessing now, or are we going to have a kind of a resolution that will not affect the chances of the party uh, in 2023? What, so I, I ask again, uh, how do you think the convention will pan out if a chairman imagines that it's not pleasing to other groups? that came together to form APC? You know, in politics, you know, you have a lot of permutations, you know, to, you know, to, to play with. Um, don't worry about that. We have seen it before. Well, you know, we imagine a lot of things. Things are going to be this, it's going to be that way. But those who are working are focused. They know where they're going. Because you have to know where you are going. The legacy parties, I mean, the legacy parties, I mean, the parties that came together to form APC. What, one of the clauses there is that you can never, never return to, to those parties again. That is, the decision then was final that once you move into APC, you can't go back. So but, but those Saraki, parties Saraki are going to be dead. But Saraki went back to PDP as an individual and a few other people. You, you can't, it, no, it won't no, be. No, an individual can move from, the, an individual can move from the legacy party to any other party. That one yes. is allowed. Yes. You can move. Mm. But what we are saying is that you cannot move, move now to go and resuscitate the party, okay. one of those legacy parties. That was the, because it was explicit that we, don't, we, we signed, so APC remains. If you move, you move as an individual, not as the one of the legacy party, as a member of one of the legacy legacy parties, you know, 
that form APC. So that is the understanding then. Mm. So anybody can go, but you cannot go and begin to resuscitate uh, um, uh, uh, the, uh, um, uh, or the other parties, APCN, you know, and um, you know, and others. CPC. Those ones are, 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 are they are history now. We are not talking about it. It's APC. If you leave APC, you are just on your own. I see, I, I see that, that I see that you do as a political party. Okay, Mr. Ibokwe, I see that you do not want to uh, play up the, the, the politics and the schemings uh, leading to this convention. But I understand that you are a, mm. a lawyer party member. No, 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 no. I can say something. It's, it's part of the process. Mm. There will be lots and lots of movements. There will be not lots and lots of, you know, intrigues, you know, uh, you know, playing the real politics. This is expected in a dynamic society like Nigeria, a dynamic country like Nigeria, movements, you know, interest. Oh, everybody wants to be the national chairman of APC. You know what that position means. Everybody wants to be this, but only one person will occupy that place. People will scheme. Some will, many will fail. Only one person is going to buy as national chairman. And if I tell you that as party men that we don't have anybody, we are looking for, but we, have, we may have somebody in mind. That do, we go do there. you have somebody All in mind? All these things are planned. Do you have somebody in mind, given that it no, has been leaders, zoned? No, leaders know. Okay, that given I mean, that it has been leaders zoned, no zoned to bring to, to the table. Okay, but you know, anybody, of course, any, anybody can be there. Anybody that has capacity, <laughs> the kind of capacity Oshomole has, the kind of capacity Governor uh, Buni has, can fit in. Can fit in. We have those people in great numbers. Or, um, uh, our problem is just to choose one capacity, you know, the man with the highest capacity and capability to do the job, you know. So that one is not a problem. When we get to the bridge, back my word, we'll cross it. I wanted to take you back on what you said earlier. This is in regards to Tenbu's uh, declaration. You yes. mentioned mental alertness of a candidate. You know, only last week, your Tenbu, while addressing some women leaders who paid him a visit in Abuja, said that our PVCs have expired only to come back to say that he made a mistake. Now, what do you say to Nigerians who actually believe that he's not mentally alert? Oh, so some, someone cannot make mistakes again. Well, it seems to be something uh, in a reoccurring situation. Life. Because I... There are, there are, no, 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 no. There's nobody that, that do not, nobody that, that cannot say he has not made one mistake, Your Honor. You see, Mistakes are bound to be made. What, what happens thereafter is that you have seen your mistake and you correct it. Everybody can make mistakes. Everybody can make mistakes allowed. It is normal in, a, in any society, anywhere in the world. You know, president make, the president make mistakes. A president can make mistakes. So, you know, this is political season, so anything can happen. If a, if a frontliner makes a mistake, it becomes, you know, headline. You know, it makes headlines. But it's normal in a democratic setting. It's normal everywhere. Presidents can make mistakes. You know, wonderful individuals can make mistakes. Well-educated well people can make mistakes. You know, so it's not peculiar to anybody. There can be slip of tongue. You know, there can be slip of, you know, so many things. What happened is... What happens thereafter is what we'll be focusing on. Not as if somebody makes one small mistake somewhere, we'll be using it. There are things on ground that will swallow those little mistakes that you think can bring in anything. Mm. I try this all, always a lot. He has a lot of things on his table. He has a lot of, you know, people all over the place. You know, so many things. To be, to aspire to the president, to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is not a tea party. You have a lot to contend with across Nigeria. There are so many groups I cannot remember now that have you know, all for everybody Everybody's forming a group. So, so many things are happening. So you don't expect that because all kinds of things. So you don't expect that he has to be hundred percent. He's not God now. Mm. It's only God that does not make mistakes. Human beings make mistakes, no matter your level, no matter your position, no matter your training. You are bound to make mistakes. Okay, um, Mr. Sorry. Bukwe, all right, I, I get that, cor uh, you know, correctly. Uh, but then, uh, you are Igbo, uh, people say that in Yoruba land where yes. Ashwaju is from, 
uh, that except for a place like Ibadan, in Ibadan, where uh, kingmakers uh, do become kings, that it is unlikely for kingmakers to declare themselves as being interested uh, on the throne. And they say that what happened when, they, when Ashwaju went to um, express his interest to the president is akin to, um, uh, you know, giving the signal that is after that seat, whether uh, the president likes it or not. Uh, but three key things that people tend to uh, bring out uh, about the Ashwaju candidacy. Uh, I, I don't know who, who, you know, if you agree with them and how, what would be your um, thoughts regarding those three key things that the people think might work against him. Uh, one is the fact that he's a Muslim. And people think that if power will come to the South, given the fact that the current president is a Muslim, it will most likely come uh, to a Christian Southerner uh, with, of course, the preference of the North usually, which is to have a Muslim Northerner um, uh, to run with him as his running mate. Um, given what, why Ashwaju didn't get the vice presidential slot with Buhari in 2015, it was because he was a Muslim and he couldn't run uh, on a Muslim-Muslim ticket. How do you think this will pan out? Do you think that the North will be forced to, um, if an Ashwaju emerges, be forced to produce a Christian um, deputy to Ashwaju? Two, um, I said educational qualifications. I see that a lot is on social media. Uh, but people say that you can't run away from having declared that you attended a certain primary school and a certain secondary school, uh, namely a lawyer primary school in, 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 in Lagos that did not exist at that time, and government college, Bado, uh, where apparently Ashwaju didn't attend. Uh, how will you summon that hodu? And lastly, uh, the, the issue of the uh, bullion van uh, in his house on the eve of a major election. That has become a recurrent decima. It happened. What was a bullion van doing in an individual's house, a party leader's house, on the eve of an election? <laughs> These are recurrent issues. Do you think that they will ever go away, given the staunch opposition against Ashiwaju's candidacy? Uh, let me, let me, let me put it this way. You see, what we defeated in 1993 is coming up again. With 1993, when we were, when we were voting Abiola and, 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 and um, King Ibe, we, we were not interested in where they are coming from or their religion. We, we, we 1993 to date is how many years? 30, almost 30. Is it not almost almost 30 years? Yes. And things have almost changed. 30 years. And we things have changed. We defeated that, yes we, yes, we defeated that ethnic or religious bigotry in 1993. And it's coming up again. Let me tell you. Actually, what you are talking about is wife is a pastor in the redeemed, in the redeemed church of, of, of God. These things do not matter again for people like us. This is something we defeated almost 30 years ago. Yeah, but it's maybe it matters to the public, the voting anybody. public. We, maybe it, can, it cannot, we cannot go back. We have left Egypt. We cannot go back to Egypt. <laughs> All we are looking at is yeah. someone, someone who has a lot to bring to the table. We are rooting for Chihuahua. I don't know what, what, about the I'm talking about Vice President, okay, he still is, but we are looking at the man who is in the saddle. We are, we are, we are looking for Chihuahua because he has a lot to bring to the table, because he can be trusted, because he cares, because he stands for something, because, because he is dependable, because he knows where he is going. That's what we need. And we have seen that displayed in Lagos. The, the foundation he laid in Lagos from 1999 to 2007 is what is making Lagos to remain the fifth largest economy in Africa and is going to the fourth largest economy in Africa, given what is being put in place now. All these people you mentioned that are, are his boys. His boys. So, I will not say, can't we reward hard work? Can we reward our work? 
time has come for us to go anywhere in this country, pick anybody, somebody that cannot be a Christian or Muslim, so long as that someone has something to bring to the table, we we'll use that person. You know, let me shock you. If you go to a World Cup with a bad team, the only thing that will happen is that during the first match, during the first, uh, 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 the first matches, you know, they will, that poor team will be kicked out, and you just pack your once you have, once once they defeat you, you just pack your bag and, and go home. But if you are given an office for four years, if you give a mediocre an office for, for four years, that person will stay four years. And if guys not taking before he finishes the four years, without gotten enough muscle, enough money to go for another one, eight years. So you'll be saddled with a fool for eight years. Unlike what happens in football. So you cannot afford to make that mistake. You have to bring in somebody that has track record of performance. I'm a product of Achiwaju's political university. We'll call it university, Bodilon University. <laughs> I have been on training. I have been, I have been on training publicity secretary for 15 years in Lagos, yeah, almost 15 years. I was a GM of an agency in Lagos. I was chairman of an agency in Lagos before I was made as a drainage. So Ashwaju so made you. you can see That's the track what you are record. saying, Honorable. Ashwaju made you. Can, you, can, you can see the track record. He has thousands. He sent people to the House of Reps, Senate, across Nigeria. So this is payback time. People like us, they don't care where you're coming from, oh, the language you speak, or the church you go, or the mosque you attend. What we want is the head of that person. His head, what is in his head? What's going to bring to the table? That's what we're thinking of. Then the second one is um, uh, certificate, certificate. This, this certificate issues came up when he was the governor. Shortly after being elected as the governor in, 19, in 1999, he defeated them. He defeated the rumor mongers and all, kind, and all kinds of people. If I want to be president now, all kinds of things will start coming up. <laughs> so, like some people say, some people say, Joey Bokwe is married to uh, the late um, SCN Bokwe, the musician. They don't know me, they don't know where I'm coming from. They will say all kinds of things. Once we emerge, people will find something. <laughs> and they say, they attach so many things to, 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 to they say, I'm married to Yoruba, I'm married to this. These are the things people will be saying. But the truth remains that what is on ground is on ground. What you have, you have it. Don't look, look at, it was rumors that brought the French Revolution, I think in 1915 or so. Rumors, rumors that brought the French Revolution in the, either 1913 or 1915. So we cannot, you know, once you declare interest, things like this happen. Then you talk about Bullion Van. Hey, Bullion Van is not peculiar to, it's, it's not what banks use. It's not meant for the banks. People use companies, use bullion van to take money to, well, if you hire them, they will take money, they will take cash. It's not only cash they take, they can carry gold, they can carry so many things, so anything that is valuable, they can carry it. You pay. So it's not peculiar to carry money from banks only. You can carry private money, you can do some, I have seen people who use bullion van to take private money. So that one, cannot stand. That one cannot. People have debunked the something on. I've seen so many reasons advance. The people came out and defined, clearly defined what William Van does or William Van do, Vans do. So that, that, that one in itself is there. These things will come up, but we will crush it <laughs> when we get to the bridge. We will, we, will, we will cross it and we won't look back. We won't look back. If I tell you that these things will not come, given my experience, you know, <laughs> I'll be deceiving myself. So let's wait and see. Yeah. We will defeat these things when they come <laughs> because they must come. <laughs> So, so that's what I, have I answered your questions? <laughs> you you have <laughs> touched all the three all the three <laughs> issues. You've touched on them. We'll wait for the time when we cross it. Well, you know, you are a southeasterner, as uh, Steve has rightly yes, mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. and by inference, you do not believe it's time for uh, power to be zoned to the south. Now, you have also mentioned the capacity of presidential candidate to deliver. Now, if you were to back a candidate just because you're from the southeast over. Uh, between Orji Uzo Kalu and Dave Umai, who would you say makes a stronger candidate? You mean the two? Yes. 
I, are you are you including my? Okay, we are, we are talking about southeast now. Yes, eh? just southeast. Southeast. Abby? Southeast. southeast. Okay, okay. If if I have if I have to pick, I'll just pick Omahi. You pick Omahi and Omahi why? Omahi is a trend engineer. Yes, if you go to Abakaliki, you see what the man is doing there. It's just like what is going on in Lagos. It's just like what is going on in Kaduna. So we know these governors that are doing the work. We know them. If you go to Abakaliki, that's the that's the lowest state in the southeast mm. in terms of development and you know, it, 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 but. Go to that place today, you wouldn't believe it. Mm. I don't know how much is the IGR. I don't know what, where he's getting the money from, but you wouldn't believe what is happening at Bakaliki. At Bakaliki. If that time is changed, and you say you want to, I will say, go and pick Omahi. Go and pick Omahi. He knows what governance is all about. He has been able to transform that weakest state in the southeast, that most backward state in the southeast, into, into, into a great city. You go to Bakaliki and you see. Okay, okay, so, okay, Mr. Don't worry about it. That, that's if, a, that's if, a, if Nigerians decide, yeah. if Nigerians decide that they must take it to Southeast, mm. please go and pick in Jina Omahi. That, that's, that's, a good, that's a good one, yes. given that you are, you are an Anambra man. So, I mean, I commend you for uh, that uh, large attendance. But just a quick one before we leave. <laughs> we are not for mediocrity. We don't, we don't, okay. we don't, it's, either you are, it's either you are good or bad. All right. So we know. Okay, mm. just, just a quick last question uh, before we go, if you can uh, kindly answer in, in, in less than one minute. Uh, APC uh, is hemorrhaging in Lagos, your base. Uh, where you have uh, been for more than 20, you know, possibly 30, 30 years. Uh, with the defection of GDID Giro and the Lagos for Lagos team, and you could see from what happened uh, two days ago, uh, practically about seven governors, uh, chairman of PDP, uh, welcomed him into the party uh, at a big rally uh, uh, in Lagos two days ago. Um, given the fact that last election, barely 500,000 uh, votes came for the president, you know, from Lagos State, the lowest so far, I believe, uh, since uh, uh, 1999. Now you have a, a, a sizable chunk of your party living for PDP. Uh, uh, is the party not hemorrhaging in Lagos? How are you dealing with the issues uh, that could lead Ejide Adedino and his team out of the party? And possibly, so possibly, maybe there are others who are not satisfied uh, with issues of imposition, uh, with issues of uh, only one person taking decision, uh, and, and you know, moving closer to 2023, maybe others might leave. How do you deal with that sort of a thing, given that Ashwaju himself now wants to go to the Fedra and people are leaving his party in Lagos State? Well, unless, if this is not the Lagos I know, these things you are saying will happen unless if this is not the Lagos that I know. You see, these things will come. Did you call, what did you call his name? <laughs> I mean, the man that is challenging is coming out for pity. What, what did you call his name? He's you... not in the cards. <laughs> he, his name is not on the table. I was the publicity secretary of our party for 15 years, and we nailed PDP in Lagos. Not by mere mounting it, but performance. Service delivery. Grappling with the influx of, of Nigerians into Lagos on a daily basis. It takes, Lagos is not for mediocres. Lagos is for those who understand what leadership is all about. You see, when people like us have, that have been in this system talk, people should pay attention. All right. So you think in your imaginations, in your thoughts, that PDP will defeat APC in Lagos. They don't have the muscle. They don't exist. Everybody that is important in PDP Lagos is down in APC. The only, body, the only person remaining is Bode George. Jimmy Abadie tried. Uh, Dosumut, the other person tried. No, nothing. We defeated them in their houses, in their polling booths. Right. This one is not known. He can't even talk. He has no, nothing to bring to the table. He has no antecedents. He has no experience. Where is he coming from? PDP in Lagos? That's, that's, that's a joke. 
Well, oh, that that's a joke. Well, you can you bring anybody much. to come to Lanza. We see some failed governors. We, we saw some failed, failed governors that came to, is it Tafa 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 school, to school. come and make sure those who cannot start one road in their, their states. They came to Lagos. <laughs> no, Lagos, Lagos is too big. Lagos, Lagos is too big to be to, 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 to be put in the hands of mediocres. All right. <laughs> Let them play their game and collect money. They cannot get allow. They cannot allow. Sir, is not for any, just anybody. All right. We've heard you. We have set standards of leadership in Lagos, and it great. cannot go down. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you so much for joining us on the morning show <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> today. We appreciate it. Well, all right. <laughs>